Look closer. In the shadows. Behind the everyday world. Beyond the headlines and the seats of power. A hidden hand. A kind of company known as Providence. To it, we were just assets to use and throw away, to do the unthinkable, the unforgivable, and it never gave us a second thought until now. After decades in the shadows, we are fighting back, me and 47. Much has been lost, but we are closer than ever. We trapped the Constant, Providence's chief controller, and finally learnt the names of its three partners. In their downfall, we lay the past to rest. And, just maybe, look towards the future. 37. It's time. Partners are down there. You know, I never planned this far ahead. You never do. I see someone got his memory back. Wait, is that a beacon? What the hell? Base. Alexa Carlisle's helicopter just took off. Confirm target locations. Over. Diana, what's the status? Right. We have a situation. Carlisle has left the building. And I think I know why. The Constant has escaped. He persuaded one of the sailors into setting him free. And since then, he's been seizing control of Providence assets and resources. I can only assume Carlisle is rushing to contain the damage. If she slips away again... We'll keep track of her. Make sure she doesn't. Meanwhile, the plan stays the same. Your destination is the Scepter, the world's tallest building where the partners are laying low, courtesy of their host, Sheikh Omar al-Ghazali. Marcus Stuyvesant is fifth generation old money. His family made its fortune in real estate and banking and were at one point the chief landowners in New York. Carl Ingram is a powerful Washington kingmaker whose family grew rich selling gunpowder during the American Civil War and later established a globe-spanning empire in oil, coal, and steel. Both families long since retreated from public view, but their quiet dominance endures to this day. Now, the partners likely suspect that we're coming, so Mr. Gray will infiltrate building controls and disable all electronic doors and elevators. Stuyvesant and Ingram are about to find they have nowhere left to run. Right. This is our moment, 47. Providence ruined our lives with the flick of a pen. Today, we return the favor. Happy hunting. Welcome back, guys, to another uh, Hitman mission. Today we are going to do on top of the world. We will complete mission story, board of prey, as well as uh, complete some challenges such as tasteless faceless, as well as black gold eye, as well as we will complete uh, a feat, that is particular palette. Well. We will start at Burger uh, Gazali. Top. The only thing we need is a recorder valve. That's it. We don't need anything else. So let's get started.
Welcome to Dubai, 47. Today is the inauguration of the scepter, and the ceremony is well underway. You will find Marcus Stuyvesant near the building's signature art installation. While a paranoid Carl Ingram has ensconced himself in his penthouse suite, security on highest alert. Mr. Gray is already in position and ready to assist. Good luck, 47. 47. Come in, 47. Do you copy? I'm here. Are you in position? I'm heading towards the point of entry. Good. Get back to me when you're there. is taking place close by. Once you've infiltrated it, get your bearings. I'm sure there must be floor plans somewhere. Understood. We need absolute focus on this one. If Ingram and Stuyvesant are alerted to our presence, we may lose them for good. We are so close, 47. Don't worry. They're not going anywhere. I love this transition every single time. I've been personally invited by the Royal Highness Omar Al Ghazali. I should have clearance. The name is Zana Kazim. Sir, I understand. Zana Kazim, aka the Vulture. One of the top agents working for Crystal Dawn, the Pan African terrorist organization. I almost hired him myself once, but chose the Maelstrom instead. Now, what is his business here? But you can't enter without being searched. It's standard procedure. This is ridiculous. Well, that's how it is. Think about it and come back. Location of points, you will need this for people. Wait, do not turn this on because we want him here, the magazine here, not the other one. Turn it on now. <laughs> Continue to hide among these bushes. Thumbs up, mate. Just take his outfit and nothing else. Do not take his gear at all. We'll take it later. Because you'll be. Get in this toilet because there's a closet in here and no other toilet has it. Overflow this because we need the guy standing beside the mirror because he has got 
uh, their staff access key card. Do not leave immediately because he will not be in the mirror. Ah. Oh shit. Leave now. Continue to service. It's almost vulgar in its tastefulness. A little bit of poison. Excuse me, sir. Here is the fine whiskey that you ordered. About time. Thank you. A pleasure. Enjoy. You got him, 47. Marcus Stuyvesant won't be a problem anymore. Let's move on to Carl Ingram. We're not done yet. I have emery poison pills. Now wait for him to come here. Wow. Oh, thanks. Oh, oh crap. I don't feel so good. Where are the bathrooms? That better not be fluorinated. I'm out of sick days. Yes, that's it. 
Now Ingram trusts you, it's like shooting fish in a barrel. No, change your clothes back to the end of Mr. Ingram is expecting you. Mr. Cassini, so good to see you. Do you have the picture? Yes. Your problem is fixed. <laughs> Omar said you were good. Let's get down to the important business at hand. Okay, people, clear the room. I need to discuss some delicate business just with keep Mr. Kazim. Perfect. Yeah. We have no, Ingram right thought. where we want him. Excuse me for a second. 47, you know what to do. This guy will not move. It's you will have to hold. make him move. So, get in here, throw a coin. Huh? Now wait for him to leave. Stand right behind. I thought I heard something. Checking it out. Over. Now, kill him. D. We got him, 47. Soon there will be no more providence. Mr. You need to find an exit. Hey, Our business is done you, here, but it's far from you over. Well, that wasn't exactly flawless. But sir, it was. But if you like it, please like it. Thanks for watching.